Hello, I'm Tom, and in this video, I'm going to be going through some of the best free VST effects um, you can get at the moment. Um, so I'm going to start off with just one track and showing just a little bit of guitar, just playing guitar, showing some different effects across it. Nothing too long, just quick examples for each one, and not all of them. And then I'm going to move on to the master bus and show um, some of the some of the things I use on there, which are less well known and also definitely worth trying out. So what I'm using for just these quick examples is I'm just going through the um, Nalex Ninja, which is a free amp sim. Um, at the front of it, I've just got noise reduction. You only really need that on the distorted bits, but I just left it on there anyway. And then I'm using um, free Ignite Nardia IR loader. And then both this Marshall, this is Firewire's IR, and the Mesa IR, and these are all free as well. So if you want to see more about those, I've got, you can check out this video here, the best free virtual instruments and amp sims. And then um, also, if you just want to hear what the Nalex Ninja, just on distortion, I'm only going to be using clean ones on this one, but if you want to hear what it sounds like um, for more like a metal setting, which is more what it's designed for, then check out that video as well. OK, so what I'll do is I'll just play a bit of it clean um, through the amp, just so you hear what I'm going to be putting the effects on. OK, so I did leave a bit of a effect on the beginning until I realised. Um, but also what I've got on here is I've got this Pulsar Smasher compressor. And this isn't free anymore, but it was free when it came out. And sometimes it does go free again. So this is um, definitely worth looking out for. Um, this is on bass and guitar on some in individual instruments. This is slightly better than the one you get in Reaper, but not quite as good as Fab Filter compressor, which I've got. But yeah, if you're going to pay for one, I'll probably go for the Fab Filter ones because but they're expensive. Um, and the, the Reaper ones are fine just for compression. There's not I've tried quite a few different compressors and generally then they well, look fancier. They're, they're not really any better than the ones what you have in Reaper, which is included. Um, so there are some other free ones as well, which I got, which I'll just mention because um, they're pretty good, but they're not free at the moment, but they can't, they are free sometimes. So another one is the Raum, which is a reverb, which is native instruments one, which is free when it came out. So I'm not going to bother demo these because they're not free at the moment, but it's worth keeping an eye out for them because they do sometimes come for free. And there's also this um, plate reverb, which is a, a good one as well. I mean, probably my favourite plate reverb is the Sound Toys one, the uh, little plate. And that was free when it first came out. So sometimes the sound toys, smaller ones are free when they first come out for a bit just for promotion. So it's worth keeping an eye open for that as well. I actually paid for that, but it was in the sale for like 75% off or what, so it doesn't too much. OK, so the first ones I'm going to do is I'm going to show some of the uh, Valhalla ones. So this is probably the best known one, and there's a lot of demos on this. So I'm not going to do very much on it, but it is worth mentioning because they recently added um, some new modes in. So they added these two new modes in it, and it added in some new um, presets, spring 2022. So I'm just going to show one of those and just show what it sounds like compared to the playing guitar. <laughs> didn't put it on again. So you see what that's like without the guitar. Now with it on. Sorry, without the Valhalla. Now with it on.
okay so that's one of the nicest ones around i think the free ones it's got, it does the most stuff but um another one by valhalla which is also pretty pretty good um is the space modulator which is more like a sort of flanger thing um i have actually got a full length i've got a, a bigger demo of this on here somewhere under my free if you look under the free noise toys playlist there's um a demo for that if i can find it there you go it's this one here free noise toys free valhalla space modulator so this has got five different examples i'm just going to just going to play you a quick one on this just so you see Okay, so the other Valhalla free one, um, which is a bit more basic. This one sounds a bit more like um, some of the free ones. You haven't got any presets on it. It has a slight metallic tinge, which I find with a lot of the free ones. Some of the, like some of the free uh, JSFX ones you get in Reaper and some of the sort of ones done by enthusiasts do tend to have this slightly metallic tone to reverbs that's one of the hardest things i think to actually get sounding really good on big reverbs but i'll, I'll play you a bit of this you can i mean if you're going to download the others you might as well download this as well and give it a go Okay, so before I show the other one, what I'm going to show, I'm, going, I'm not going to bother demoing these, but I think a few of these are worth mentioning as well. So I'll just show you what they are, and I will, will include links in the descriptions. So there's a number of um, good overdrives that you want to use. For this particular amp I'm using here, if you're using the distorted channel, um, if it's got the drive on dirty, you don't need you don't need it, but most of them you will. So this is a good one from TSE Audio. They could do good stuff. This is another one from Ignite Amps, which is also good, slightly different flavour, worth trying out. Um, another recent one, I can get it to load, Bratwurt Fuzz here. So this is a distortion one, it sort of gives a completely different flavour on that. So um, that's worth checking out as well. And then this one here. Um, Black Nembrini. Um, Nembrini have, I'll put a link for that, they've got a few other um, free plugins which are, are worth checking out as well. So again, that's a slightly different flavour. It's all slightly different flavours you can use. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show this one. This one is still currently free and this is a very useful one because um, you can, it's got a whole one thing which isn't so good is that you've got the descriptions here, a bit, you can hardly read them. But um, it's got a lot of different flavours and they're just simple ones. You've got hardly any control apart from the amount. But what it's really good for is if you have a section of a song and you want to maybe change something, add a different flavour, you're not quite sure what to use, then you can just flick through this on the wheel, try different things out and um, get an idea of what you might like. And I have just used it just straight as it is. You just find, and find sounds you, you like on it. But it's great for trying stuff out. So I'll just try infinity one on this
OK, so I'll just quickly try another one. I'll try Space Grinder just to show you that as well. You've got a lot of different sounds on this. You've got um, you've got everything from just um, simple delays. You can use guitar solos to high and low passes, the phasers, chorus, flange. You can probably hardly read any of these because it's so... I don't know why they did the writing like that. Um, you've got loads of different things you can try. I'll just show you one more and then I'll, and then I'll move on to some other stuff. Okay, so the other ones I've got on here um, are more spatial ones. So these are free ones as well. So I've got, um, it's taking a second to load up. Okay, Ozone Imager. So this is sort of a width control. So you just, you have to click on here to stereoize and you just make it bigger on that. And then similar to this is wider. So you can move this around on this. This is another one where I'll, I'll put the link in. So um, what I'll do is I'll use, I'll go back to the, Valhalla. Actually, I'll, what I'll do is I'll play a little bit and then I'll put it on so you see the difference. So I'm going to use the Valhalla Supermassive again, the same one I used before, and then I'm going to click these ones on and off so you can see. Right. <laughs> OK, now I'll do it with the Ozone Imager. OK, and then now I'm going to do it with um, the Infected Mushroom one, which is wider. OK, so another just done with those examples there. What I did want to show you is on the effects chain, I've got a standard effects chain here. So I haven't found anything free that's as good for um, limiter or the compressor as fab filter. But with um, there's the multiband compression, I actually prefer the one in Reaper. I actually seem to find that easier to use and get just as good a results. So I, I bought a deal were pack in the sale, which included the EQ, fab filter, EQ, multiband compressor, compressor and limiter. Um, compressor and the limiter were definitely a step up. Um, not so much the multiband um, compressor. And the EQ has some great uses, but you don't really need it as such, um, even though it's a very useful tool for some things. But the ones I was going to show you on here, is this is a free one at the moment. So this is um, Fresh Air plugin. And what this does, um, it's basically a, a kind of exciter or enhancer. You've got different presets on it. So you really need to show this on a full mix to do it. And sometimes it's not worth using. Sometimes it isn't. Sometimes it just adds a little bit extra something. So it's definitely worth trying. But the rock stuff, this is an old one. This is... Um, I'll put the links in there for this one. So this is a thrill seeker. So this is an exciter. And what I always use, this is on set A. And I'd only use it on, say, rock or metal stuff, which is want to be quite loud and quite aggressive. If you use it on a clean track, it'll make it sound worse. Um, and I really just went through the presets and, and, and just found that that was the one which worked. So this is variety of sound ones. Um, this is actually bridged. 
but they have recently um, converted them up to 64 bit. So um, you don't need to use a bridging. It doesn't really matter in Reaper because it just bridges it for you anyway. And the other one from the same place, which is, um, no, where's it gone? Here is, um, uh, this is basically a tape saturation plugin. Um, so I've, it's called Ferric TDS, and I've tried out quite a few of these, including trials for much more expensive paid ones, and I don't like any of them as much as this. So um, a game of preset I use on this is just mix glue, and it just brings things together a bit, adds a little bit of extra warmth and depth. And I pretty much use that on everything. Um, so that's definitely worth downloading. You can get, but as I said, you can, they recently did update these so you can get um, ones so you don't have to bridge them. But um, there's also like, there's quite a lot of, um, on the page which are linked to, there's quite a lot of other stuff you might want to try out. These are my favourites, but check those out. So, okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, um, check out some of the other videos if you want. I've got quite a few other demos of free stuff. I've got the page on there, which... Um, there's a whole section of free noise toys. So there's demos for quite a lot of good free stuff on that. So, yeah, thanks for watching. And um, hopefully I'll be doing some more soon. Cheers. Bye.